Hi there, Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Welcome to your October 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com, or as some of you may know as Heart Divine. So, if you're new to my channel, know that I do monthly intuitive forecast, love readings, and astrology videos. And if this is something that you are interested in, then do please consider subscribing. And that is going to be very much helpful and appreciated. Now, let's first talk about the general feel of the month, this month of October 2020, and what we might be experiencing. First of all, we do have, you know, um, astrology wise, we do have Mars retrograde in the sign of Aries, and we are also going to experience this Mercury retrograde in the sign of Aries. So there's going to be a lot of reflective element that is going to um, be a focal point for the energy for the month of August. And, you know, this might be open to a lot of discovery, a lot of learning new things, and it could be old things that we thought we already knew, but we had no idea, you know, it could be a breakthrough moment for a lot of people. Now, in general, though, I feel that for a lot of Leos out there, again, this reading and this forecast is for those of you who are, you know, heavy on the Leo side, whether you have your sun in Leo, moon in Leo, or if you have your rising sign in the sign of Leo. Uh, I feel that, you know, it could be a month filled with a lot of challenging moments. It doesn't mean that it's going to be negative. It's just that you are going to experience a lot of activities. And, you know, you might find that this month can be quite challenging in its own way. But at the same time, if you think about it that way, it means that you are open to progress, you know, by becoming very um, um, patient and overcoming diversities, adversity adversities um, that comes into you you will be able to you know progress with your with your life and whatever situation that you are focusing during this time now if you do see the spreads that i have over here we do have a lot of interesting elements here we have a lot of you know it gives us a, a watery kind of energy and at the same time it has that mental fortitude because we do have quite a lot of swords over here so it gives us that feeling we're in yes you are at a state of emotions but at the same time you are you know you are very much open to strategic thinking so this could be a breakthrough wherein a problem might come up and you are going to you know probably do something to to find solutions into whatever problems that comes into you at this time so um yeah let's now start the reading uh by going with your first card of the deck we do have the three of wands now the three of wands is a waiting card at the same time it's not really a very active card because it is a card we're in you know it's very much open to opportunities and possibilities of life i feel that you know because this is you know with the four of wands is talking about harmony, partnerships, and alliances. Maybe you're waiting for a partnership or an alliance, or maybe you're just hoping for some form of harmonious element to come into your into your life when it comes to your love life, partnerships. It could be even business and as a whole, or your family or house household um, um, situation that, that might might be in focus over here. So. Yeah, um, with the Ten of Pentacles, it makes me feel that, yes, this could be having to do with home, uh, furnitures and all of that. You know, there's something in your home life or in your family or it's something very rooted, you know. Uh, maybe you are wanting to settle down, you know, these elements that are quite in similar places, you know, settling down, having a solid commitment 
and you know wanting to progress a relationship in a very deeper level could be quite a few things that you are in concern with and you are um, quite focused during this time so these are the three things over there that we can see and with the king of cups it could be you know maybe it is you it could be a specific person in your life that you know that triggers your own emotions i would say that the king of cups is always a master of their own emotions you know? and you know they could be really thinking a lot of in a very intuitive level, think, thinking a lot of their own emotions and their own feelings. It could be, you know, there could be a pessimistic factor with this because, you know, um, whenever we talk about the King of Cups, there is just some form of pessimism in there um, from time to time. So, so this could be how you perceive yourself in the past or you could be dealing with that kind of person you know maybe you're wanting some form of practicality in your relationship and you're dealing with someone who is quite the opposite of that you know you're dealing with someone who focuses on their fantasies or their emotional ideals and all of that so that can be an issue during this time with the hermit card over here it is telling us that you will find out something you will learn something that you know probably you have overlooked something that you have not noticed before or this can be just a time wherein you are going to learn something within yourself learn something in the relationship or you know um the hermit card is always uh, has a lot to do with personal growth i would say there is a sense of loneliness here it could be that you know the feeling of wanting to be with someone but unable to be with them um technically or realistically um whatever your situation may be and there could be an element of loneliness and looking back into the past which is not very surprising as, as i have already mentioned earlier that, you know astrology wise we do have a lot of retrograde happenings and um i do believe that in astrology we will also have pluto going direct or already direct uh, as we speak this time and that is going to be you know a bigger factor in feeling a lot more you know feeling a lot more explosion and emotions as a whole because uh, before with pluto was retrograde you know everything was internal and right now it's easy for us to do things to express things in a very powerful way there is something very obvious that we are seeing feeling and sensing um in a whole wide another level so and with the let's first talk about the astro dice we do have here scorpio yes scorpio uh with uranus in the fourth house and this fourth house is actually you know activating more your your own emotions whenever you know we talk about the fourth house people would just say home and family but um truth be told the fourth house has a lot to do with our comfort zones what we feel inside of us you know in a very deeper level psychological level and very emotional level whether you're happy um with your own situation or not can be a bigger factor there with the activation of the uranus over here and scorpio um i feel that you know your emotions can be you know much more stronger during this time you might sense quite a few things you might actually feel that your intuition is in top shape during this time you know there's could be sudden a lot of sudden things that can be happening into your life and into your own personal um life even so um and the next card that we have here is the uh eight of cups so the eight of cups has quite of a negative connotation it's always about you know maybe someone leaving behind or you leaving behind something or you know it, it is a temporary setback that uh, we usually um, tend to experience you know when we feel down and all of that these are the things that 
can occur whenever the the Eight of Cups comes along. It always has a lesson, though. It always teaches us something. It always reminds us something. So,、um, with how the cards are, I would say that there could be some form of emotional blockages or ex- em- emotional problems that we might experience, or a lot of Leo might experience as whole. You know, you do have your own desires. I do see the desires of you know a, a happily ever after that you want. You know, you want something stable, something grounded, and all of that. But there could be something that is preventing、uh, what you wish and what you want. So you know, you might experience quite a few, you know,、um, issues within the month of October with the page of、uh, Swords over here. You will be, you know, I I don't see you as.、Um, As a person who will dwell on negativity, yes, you are going to feel down. But this is a point wherein you're actually, you know,、um, being a lot more guarded. This is a situation wherein、um, you're not very much open to a lot of people. You know,、um, if there are any gossips that are happening in your life, this is a point wherein you're not going to believe in. Each and everything that you hear, this is also a situation wherein you might be thinking and overthinking quite a few things, which can create complications, and you know it can create benefits as well, depending on your own personal situation, which I will not be able to see because that is going to differ for each and every Leo people out there. So um, yeah, with the Eight. Uh, uh. Sorry. This is the Ten of Swords, and this is the card of disappointment. I would say that it could the possibility of someone disappointing you might come in very strongly. You know, maybe someone lets you down or someone puts you down. Um, that could be quite of a shock to you. Maybe a family member because you know, um, the Ten of Pentacles is here, or someone you, that you trust, that you value, puts a damper on your own mood or your own belief system, and that can create, you know, a various shakeup in you. However,、um, this experience is meant to make you stronger and to strengthen you. You know, not just to put you down. Also, by experiencing this, I feel that you know you will be able to make sense of quite a few things. You know, of course, when someone puts you down, you know, at the first a few days or something, or at the beginning of the phase, it can you know really create some form of mental block in you. You know, this is something not specific people experience, but. In a general level, this is what everyone experiences. You know, when they are being put down by someone or specific people or group of people that they truly trust. So、um, this could be a situation that is quite、um, quite toxic in a way, and at the same time、um, has its own perks depending on how you are handling the situation. I just kind of feel that you know,、um, as you. As you try to overcome your own situation, as you try to think a lot, because if you stop thinking, I kind of feel that that is going to be the end of it. You won't be able to see what is the truth, what is the real issue at hand. By experiencing the roadblocks that I am sensing over here, you will be able to see.、Um, A better picture, a clear picture on what is really happening into your own situation and into your own life. That way, you will be able to res- to resolve the problems that you are、um, having or encountering during this time. This could be a very much of a eye opening kind of、um, experience, even which is a very positive thing if you would ask me, because you know yes, there are problems, there are obstacles that is quite frustrating and it could be very much stressful, but the the good thing here is that you know you are you get to be aware of what is working, what is not working, what is the problem in itself, and you will be able to work on that, and you know, try to you know find ways to to overcome something. Now, the next card that we have over here is the Ace of Swords, and this is the you know、uh, another way that we can see this is the card of success. But 
it has a very penetrating energy to them. You know, it's like um, pushing yourself to the limit and overcoming something, even though that that the favor is not really um, within your control. You know, you're going to strive for what you want and what you believe in. At the end of the day, that really overcomes everything. That um, that you know you are experiencing it's like fighting your own fate and fighting your own destiny as a result so we do have here the king of swords and this is a, a very um mental kind of card it could be telling us that you know if you if to not i guess this is like a message to you to not just base everything on your on your own emotions especially if the emotions that you are going to be experiencing are quite on the negative side do not stop you know thinking you know thinking of ways how to resolve an issue and all of that whenever the king of swords uh, shows up i would also say that a lot of information can come during this time and that can greatly help you give you insight into things that you know you probably didn't know in the past so also when the king of swords shows up i would say that you know um, computers and a lot of gadgets are you know very active with this so it could be that you are going to be receiving information through online through email or you know you could actually you know um, maybe have a connection with someone that is very good in technology or I don't know I just feel that, you know, this is a very techie guy <laughs> whenever the king is sort of shows up. It could also be a situation wherein you might, you know, hear something, find out something um, that can give you some form of a genius kind of idea in resolving um, issues in itself. It could be a situation that can create a lot of shock as well as I feel that, you know, there could be a shocking element, you know, that is for a lot of Leo people out there now let's pick up with the Lenormand card to show you guys what I have um, this is just to give you guys confirmation on the message that might be transpiring for the month of October for a lot of Leo people out there now we start with the, the dog card which is all about friendships connections and loyalty and stork card which is you know it can bring changes changes in a relationship changes with a friend and that could be the issue at hand here and it could be an improvement of a relationship however with the fox card here this is a very troublesome card there is some form of manipulation involved or it could be a situation that is troublesome it could be you know your connection with a friend is um or a, rela a love relationship is having some form of troublesome situation and you might learn something from that you know learn something or you might find out what is the problem in the situation so opportunity for change opportunity for things to improve we do have the clover in the book here which is you know all about a, a small chance or a chance for to discover something to find out a secret to to learn something about uh, about someone someone who has been very secretive to you we do have the book here the book here and the dog here you know um, a secret of a friend or a lover of some kind uh, you might find out quite a few things with that so um, one thing for sure is that we are seeing that there is going to be information that is going to be you know coming up for energy is going to be different for each one so i would say to not um overreact and try not to be very impulsive with your own emotions when you know sudden surprises comes into you because sudden surprises can definitely occur um, i feel that you know at the end of the day you still need to communicate in a very calm manner in a very effective way so that there could be you know um, improvement and progress in the relationship as a whole this could be an element that can you know um, that can either create a problem or can resolve misunderstandings you know you know it could be that a time to to look into 
to look and see what's really happening behind the scenes can be uh, quite a few things that we a lot of a lot of um, Leos might experience. I also feel that you know this can be a time and a breaking point in making solid decisions. This is not advi advisable to do, but I kind of feel that I'm seeing a lot of Leo people suddenly, you know, shifting gears and suddenly making decisions, um, which may be positive or negative. Um, I'm really not sure, but um, this is about you tackling in some form of problems that is happening in your life and in your relationships. So um, yeah, this is it my, for my reading for you guys, Leo, Leo people out there. And if you do want a personal reading just like this one or in anything more specific and detailed done for you, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. And with that, I'm ending this video and we shall see each other again next month.